If you were granted a tax extension with the IRS earlier this year, time is running out to get your taxes filed before the extension deadline. If you don't file before October 15th, you can rack up severe penalties and fees that increase the longer you delay. So what happens if you still can't file or pay? If you're in the position where you're up against the deadline and don't know what to do, you do have a few options to help lessen the penalties and get you on the right track with the IRS. Hi, I'm Andrew Gordon. I'm a CPA and tax attorney, and over the past decade, I've helped clients navigate through their taxes, even when that means the unfortunate task of having to deal with the IRS. Today, I'm going to go over the options available to those who have filed a tax return extension with the IRS, but may not be able to meet the October 15th filing deadline. There are many reasons why you might not be able to meet the extension deadline, but there are things that you can do right now to put yourself in a better position with the IRS, even if you can't get your taxes filed and paid by October 15th. The sooner you act, the less you will owe in penalties and fees. File as soon as possible. Even if you miss the October 15th deadline, submit your tax return as soon as you can to minimize penalties. The penalty for not filing is usually higher than the penalty for not paying, so even if you cannot pay your tax bill, you should still file as soon as possible. The IRS failure to file penalty is 5% of the unpaid tax per month, capped at 25% of the tax due. After 60 days, if you still fail to file, the minimum IRS penalty is $435 or 100% of the tax due, whichever is less. If you've been granted an extension, this penalty will kick in if you fail to file your return on or before October 15th. The longer you wait to file beyond the deadline, the larger your penalty will be. Estimate your tax liability. If you cannot calculate precisely what you owe right now, make an effort to estimate your tax liability and make a payment to avoid or reduce penalties and interest charges. Another option is to file a return using estimations now and always amend the return later. Getting a return to the IRS, even with estimates, can help you reduce the penalties you may face. Request a penalty abatement. If you missed the deadline due to a reasonable cause, such as illness or a natural disaster, you may qualify for penalty relief. The IRS offers three types of penalty relief. First time penalty abatement. The first time penalty abatement is one of the most common penalty abatements issued by the IRS and applies to individuals or businesses with a history of good tax compliance. Good tax compliance means filing the same type of tax return for the previous three years with no penalties for late filing or payment during that time. Reasonable cause. An individual can file a reasonable cause abatement if they have experienced some kind of hardship that prevented them from filing a tax return on time. This includes fires, natural disasters, civil disturbances, illness, death, and an inability to obtain records. Statutory exception. You can apply for a statutory exception penalty relief if you relied on incorrect written advice from the IRS, mailed a return on time, lived in a federal disaster area, or were involved in military operations in the combat zone. For more information on how to apply for a penalty abatement, you can visit irs.gov or speak with a tax professional or attorney. Set up a payment plan. Not being able to pay a bill in full should not be the reason to delay filing your taxes. The IRS offers payment plans that allow you to pay your bill over time and avoid late filing penalties. One of the significant benefits of an installment agreement in most cases is that it prevents the IRS from taking collection action, such as garnishments and levies. The IRS offers a few different types of installment plans depending on your circumstances. Guaranteed installment agreements. The IRS must accept qualifying requests for installment agreements if you owe less than $10,000, have filed on time for the last five years, haven't had an installment plan in the last five years, and you can pay the total balance within 72 months. IRS Streamline Installment Agreement. If you qualify for a guaranteed installment agreement, the odds are that you also qualify for a streamlined installment agreement offered by the IRS. You qualify if you owe less than $50,000, 
can pay the total balance within 72 months and the proposed monthly payment is equal to or greater than the minimum acceptable payment. The IRS determines your minimum payment by dividing the total balance owed by 72 months. If your collection statute expiration date is sooner than that, the IRS will divide the debt by the number of months that you have left to pay. Partial Pay Installment Agreement, or PPIA. Typically, IRS partial payment plans benefit low-income individuals who have little disposable income. It allows you to remain in good standing with the IRS by making smaller monthly payments based on your ability to pay. Unlike previous installment agreement options, you must provide detailed financial information for approval. While this IRS payment plan can be a great option if approved, you are required to submit financial information every couple of years, which can result in changes to your agreement and increased monthly payments. Payments on a PPIA continue until the balance is paid in full or the balance expires. Non-streamlined installment agreement. If you owe up to $250,000 and can make monthly payments, a non-streamlined installment agreement may be a good choice. Unlike some other options, this installment agreement isn't automatically guaranteed. It's also only available for individuals and the IRS will file a tax lien as a condition of the agreement. If you want to avoid an IRS lien, you may consider paying off part of your debt so that you can qualify for a streamlined installment agreement instead. Consult with a tax professional. If you are unsure about your situation or are looking for options, consult with a tax professional. A tax professional will come armed with information and experience that can help you make sense of your situation and set you on the best path forward. Staring at a tax deadline can be stressful, but there are options out there that can save you from costly penalties. At Gordon Law, we have helped thousands of individuals make their way out of complicated tax situations with as much of their money in their wallet as possible. If you need help with your taxes, schedule a confidential consultation with one of our tax attorneys at gordonlaw.com. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe, and share it with someone that you know who is struggling to make the filing extension deadline. Thanks for watching and see you next time.